Hello everyone, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Forum BX257, here to bring you another old G.I. Joe toy review, and today I'll be doing a, the Cobra Ninja, the 1984, and he makes his first cartoon appearance in the 1984 five parter, The Revenge of Cobra. And he makes his appearance in the in the first part, but he only starts talking in the third part, where he faces off against his cartoon nemesis. Uh, spirit. In the comic books, however, his nemesis was, of course, Snake Eyes, and in his very first comic book appearance in issue 21, it's quite clear that there is a connection between Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes. Storm Shadow, of course, um, slowly loses interest in being a Cobra agent uh, over, over a period of time in the comic run, but I tend to really like this guy as a bad guy, personally. Even though it doesn't say on the uh, on his file card what his name is, um, it's it's pretty cl clear early on in the comic book run that his name is Tommy Arashikage, the Arashi meaning storm and Kage meaning shadow or storm shadow. You're probably thinking that white is a very odd choice for a ninja, but it actually does have a historical background. In the past, Japan's national colors were red and white. Well, actually, they still are the national colors, but uh, they would actually hang cloth banners of those national colors on the lower halves of uh, large residences and even the marketplaces. So that's where someone with wearing all white would actually blend in. Storm Shadow comes with a quiver, which cleverly holds all his accessories. The quiver actually opens up, and he has some nunchaku sticks. Of course, we call those nunchucks nowadays. Two samurai swords. You'd have a, a long sword and a sh slightly shorter sword, which uh, I think I've referred to as a wakazaki in the past, sometimes also known as a wakazashi. On the inside of the quiver, you have a lot of uh, molded in arrows, which you can't remove. But on the outside, you have a pegged in longbow. And it's called a longbow on the contents list on the card. Of course, if you match it up to the figure, it, um, quite frankly, it's a little, it's a little small. I, I wouldn't call that a longbow myself. The sculpt is actually really, really nice. With he, he even has a few more uh, weapons, obviously tucked into his belt and his sash there. Unfortunately, this, this is kind of uh, one of the unfortunate things about Storm Shadow is while he's very popular, he actually has been bootlegged fairly often. So if you're looking for an original, one of the things you'll you'll have to look out for is uh, some of the finer details. Like the Cobra symbol is now the new updated Cobra symbol for 1984, whereas previously it had a lot of um, little tinier ribs within the Cobra. Uh, unfortunately, if you do find one which has the tinier ribs within the Cobra symbol, it's probably a South American version. If the Cobra symbol is sloppy or it's really too big, most likely what you have is a bootleg. The other thing too is you might want to look at is the flesh tone on his elbows here. These should be really, really solid. They shouldn't look like see-through because kind of a see-through plastic, that's a that's more of a recent invention. A lot of these bootlegs unfortunately do come from China, which isn't to say that China doesn't have their own G.I. Joes. They do. In 1992, China did produce for their own domestic market a Storm Shadow mint on the card and you do find a lot of those out there. Uh, unfortunately that one you'd have to look at fairly carefully too because even the Chinese package has been bootlegged on top of all that so yeah <laughs> you really do have to take a look at the figure itself. Uh, another telltale sign is of course the, the, the string on the bow should be fairly fairly thin and not anywhere near as thick as the rest of the bow itself.
Well, that's all the time I have right now. Please check out my Facebook page for more information and behind the scenes photos for these reviews. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for next time to see another 1980s G.I. Joe tour review. See you then.